host Rene Rubalcava and welcome to OdoNet. So today I want to talk a little bit about uh, setting up TypeScript and your TypeScript definition files for your ArcGIS API for JavaScript application. And this really isn't specific to the ArcGIS JavaScript API. This is really um, for setting up your typings for any uh, TypeScript project that you might be using. So historically, um, for setting up your TypeScript definition files or the declaration files, um, we would have gone ahead and used something like uh, Typings to do that, which was a, uh, uh, a library that you can install, uh, do Typings dash Typings install, and then the uh, declaration file uh, repository or the uh, uh, name, and it would go ahead and install it for you. Uh, before that, there was a, a project called TSD which is very popular. But with TypeScript 2.0, they've gone ahead and added the ability to be able to do that uh, directly. And basically do that by doing npm install save at types and then the name of the repository. And it's gonna take that repository information from the uh, definitely typed repo. So if you're not familiar, definitely typed is a GitHub repo where you can publish your declaration files to and um, they'll be accessible uh, using all these various tools. So it's really neat. Um, you can actually let's see here if they've got a link. Uh, there we go. Let's open that new tab. So you can actually search for your typings inside of here. So uh, if you want to search for ArcGIS, for example, we have the ArcGIS JS API, and it's going to go and take us to the uh, NPM page for that, and it's going to tell you how you can install those typings. Uh, another thing we can do is uh, we have the Dojo typings here. Now, the Dojo typings, the latest ones, are not published to definitely typed at the moment. Um, you just install them via NPM, and install them like you would any other NPM library. So we'll sh I'll show you how to get that up and running and get everything together. So let's go and remember this npm install save at types slash arcgis dash js dash api and then we'll npm install the dojo typings as well um, and let's get right to it. So first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and set up this particular repo npm init dash dash yes. So I'll just accept all the defaults. All right, awesome. Now what I want to do is uh, let's go install the uh, dojo typings first. So we'll install those. That was pretty quick. npm install dash save and types for my arcgis dash js dash api. All right, that was pretty quick. Let me open up um, Visual Studio Code here. All right, let me get this set up here so you can see this. Okay, so now I have a package.json with everything in here, and I've got my node modules, I have my JS API typings in here, I have my Dojo typings in here. All right, cool. So now what do I want to do? Well, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to set up a main uh, declaration file that is going to reference these two. So I'm going to go ahead and call that file typings.d.ts. And in typings, I'm just going to copy paste this from this other uh, stuff, stuff I have here. I'm going to go ahead and reference the node modules, types, the ArcGIS JS API, and the index.declaration file. And I'm going to go ahead and reference the same thing for Dojo, Digit, and Dojo X in here. Um, all right, so that's how we do that. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be using any Dojo stuff in my code itself, but just to give you an idea of if you want to have it here, this is what you would do. Okay, perfect. So I've got those. Now, the next step that you want to do is you want to set up a, a tsconfig file. All right, so for and this is for Visual Studio Code. This is what uh, Visual Studio Code is going to read to be able to uh, do all the TypeScript stuff for you, right? So this is just a JSON file. Oops. All right, so now in here, 
I'm going to have uh, compiler options. And then we'll do compile on save as well. This will come in handy later on. We'll see. Now we'll do some compiler options. All right. Now my target is going to be ES5. And the module output, because we are using uh, Dojo, is going to be AMD. And let's go and turn on source maps for this case. Awesome. Okay, next thing I want to do is I need an index.html file to display my page. And I'm also going to go ahead and need a folder. Let's call it a source folder in here. And in that source folder, I'm going to have a main.ts. So main TypeScript file. All right, so for my index.html, I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, do a very simple uh, HTML page. So as you can see here, I'm bringing in the uh, 318 version of the API, the CSS. I'm bringing the API in right here uh, from the CDN. And I've defined a window uh, dojo config. So for this dojo config, what I'm doing is I'm saying I have a package called app. And that app package is located in the source folder. And the dependency for my application is going to be called app slash main. That'll be my main.ts file once it's compiled. Now, that's going to go ahead and load that as soon as Dojo is done loading. Then I just have a little div out here for my map and some CSS to be able to make that map take up the whole page. Easy enough, that's pretty simple. So again, we've got our TS config file over here. Now, this is where things get kind of cool, once you have the TS config file. So, TS config file has a files property. Now, in that files property, I'm going to go ahead and add the source main.ts. Now that means it's going to go ahead and every time I compile my TypeScript, it's going to compile that particular file. But I also need to tell it um, where my typings are located so that it can give me my typings as I am writing my TypeScript file. So remember, we created this typings.d.ts file in here. So what it's going to do is it's going to be able to see all of these typings to see my declaration files and that'll make it so that my TypeScript itself will actually work. So what I like to do whenever I make these kind of changes is uh, reload the project or reload the whole Windows so that everything uh, that I've done up to this point will get um, loaded in the Pro Visual Studio Code. So now at this point, I'm going to go and import map is equal to require Esri slash map. Notice there's no red squiggly hairs and there's no errors. Now I want a feature layer, so I'm going to import feature layer is equal to require Esri slash layers slash feature layer. Again, no red squigglies and everything's working. Now you might be asking yourself, why can't you do import map from Esri slash map? All right, so notice there's no squigglies here. However, there is squiggly under map here. Now let's go ahead and comment this out so we don't get the duplicate error. But we do get an error saying that Esri map has no default export. So what that means is that in the actual JavaScript file, if we wrote, if the JavaScript file was written in TypeScript, we would actually do something like this, export default map, right? And that would export map as the default module in this uh, project. Now what that actually does is that when you compile that to ES5, that actually turns this into a uh, return uh, something like this. It's going to look like um, fingers are getting issues today. Default map like that. Which means that in a um, JavaScript project, if you were not using TypeScript, you were not using ES6, and we went ahead and uh, told you to do it like this and you're writing your javascript that means you would do something like uh let's see just to get an idea here esri slash map function ignore the red squiggies here for a second i just want to do this as kind of a, a demo for you this means that you would need to do var map or actually uh yeah 
So var map is equal to new map dot default. And then your parameters in here. This would be very um, just real pain for people that are not using TypeScript, that are not using ES6. So we do the does not do this inside the version uh, 3.18 of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. That means we can't use this syntax, unfortunately, when writing TypeScript. Um, you could do it when writing ES6 because Babel will go ahead and handle this whole, uh, it'll add a dot .default um, wrapper around stuff like this, so that would work in your Babel code. Uh, when Babel outputs your code from ES6 to ES5. Uh, TypeScript, however, will not do that, which means that this does not work. So we get around that by using uh, import map equals require. That's why you have to do it this way. And it's for a convenience factor for people that are still doing the ES5 code. So what I want to do here now, let's continue with the sample, um, is I want to have a URL. So I'm just going to copy that in here. And next, I'm going to create a map. So I want uh, map is equal to new map. So now you can see I'm starting to get my IntelliSense here inside the Visual Studio Code. So I have a map call. I have a div element with an ID of map. And I need to pass some options in here, some map options. And I'm going to have a base map. And that base map is going to be a hybrid. I have a center property. And you can see here I'm getting IntelliSense for the center property down here. It's time it's an array of numbers or a point. So these numbers need to be in uh, lat long or long lat. I forget what I'm doing. Uh, geography is not my strong point, it's just my major. And uh, zoom, which is a number, uh, let's say 17. All right. So now I'm going to. Actually, let's leave it for like that for now. I'll show you uh, another really cool thing. So as we look here, we notice I don't have a main.js file yet. But what happened? I, I said that I wanted to compile on save. So why don't I have a, a .js file? Well, that's because we haven't set up the task to be able to compile the JavaScript yet. So if you do control, control shift B, you're gonna, Visual Studio Code is going to tell you uh, to configure a task runner because no task runner has been configured yet. Meaning that when control you do control shift B, it knows that you want to do a build of your project. It just doesn't know what kind of project you're using or what you want to do the build of. So we do configure task runner. We can tell it to run Golt, run Grump, uh, Grunt, uh, or one of these other ones here. But basically, I just want to do TypeScript build, and I want to do it uh, using the TS config. So let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all of this as a default in here. So this is my new task in here, and it saves in a folder called .vs code, right? So, oops, now what I want to do. All right, so now if I go main.ts, now if I do control shift B, now I have a main.js file. So that main.js file does my define in here. Uh, it's got my URL, my map, everything like I already had it, and it's got a source map for me. Okay, so let's continue here uh, and continue doing what we're doing. Actually, real quick, let me go ahead and let's look at the actual uh, page itself. So I've come over here. I've got samples in here. So this is the actual page. All right, so here's our actual map, all right? So let's actually go back to the code real quick. Oops, wrong one. We don't need that right now. All right. So I actually want to add a feature layer in here. Feature layer is equal to new feature layer. And this is gonna have my URL because I'm expecting a string here. And I won't be using any other options. And I'm gonna go to map.add layer. And it's expecting something that is a layer type. And since feature layer extends layer, it'll go ahead and let me do this. So now I've saved this. And if we came over here, you'll notice that we did not uh, have our feature layer here yet. But after I save it and I reload the page, should have it there. Oh, I have to build it. So I'm doing compile and save. I thought that would have worked. 
So, oops. There we go. So now we're compiling. I came over here. Refresh. And here we go. There's our feature layer. And everything's all set. So now what I can do is I can look at my uh, source source map for this, which is my main.ts file, put a breakpoint where I create the feature layer, refresh, and it's going to take me to my breakpoint here. So I have a feature layer here. It's a function, which is actually the constructor, my URL. Uh, the feature layer itself is undefined at this point. I have a map. It's giving me all the information on the map. Uh, add layer is a method. Feature layer is currently undefined. Uh, if I continue, there we go. So that is how you set up your uh, TypeScript uh, files and your tsconfig.json using a uh, typings declaration file, using uh, npm to install the declaration files into your node modules folder, um, using the new method that you get with TypeScript 2.0 to be able to install uh, at types um, into uh, node modules. And this is basically doing what the Dojo typing is already doing is as if someone had already published um, all of their um, uh, type declaration files into uh, NPM. Uh, this is just a shortcut to be able to pull them from definitely typed uh, instead of having to use typings to do uh, something like that. And that's it. So uh, go ahead and just give you all your IntelliSense and everything you want inside of here. I um, hope I explained uh, pretty well how, why you have to do uh, import map equal require for modules uh, inside the ArcGIS JavaScript API and any other questions you might have. Uh, so feel free to let me know if anything else comes up. Thank you.